Hi, in this video, I'll be working with Windsor & Newton Professional Oils. I'll be showing you how to make luminous browns using a palette of only primary colors. I'll be using a palette that contains a warm and cool of each of the primary colors. My yellows are cadmium lemon and cadmium yellow. The reds are cadmium scarlet and permanent alizarin crimson. And my blues are cerulean and French ultramarine. The key to mixing browns is that the mixture must have at least one opaque pigment in it. In this palette, the cadmiums are all opaque, so any mixture that contains one of these will work. Brown is simply a low-chroma orange, so I'll first mix an orange using one of the pairs of yellow and red, and then add one of my blues in small amounts. This mixture is cadmium yellow, plus permanent alizarin, and I'm adding ultramarine. You can see that I get a rich, dark brown. I can lighten it slightly by adding more yellow, but because alizarin and ultramarine are both transparent and dark, this mixture won't make light value browns without the addition of white. You can see that adding a bit of titanium white creates a cool, lighter value brown. But to maintain the richness of the pigments, I try to avoid white. So if I need a lighter value brown, I'd start with my lighter colors. Cadmium lemon, cadmium scarlet, and cerulean. The resulting brown is lighter than my first mixture and maintains its warmth because I haven't cooled it off with titanium white. There are many permutations of brown within this six color palette. I can add cadmium yellow to cadmium scarlet and add cerulean. Or cadmium lemon, alizarin, and ultramarine. By varying the amounts of each pigment, I can modify the hue of the brown as well as its value. You can make rich browns by using many different primaries, not just the ones I've shown. As long as at least one of your primaries is opaque, the results will be beautiful and complex.